Looks weird like this, doesn't it? Sounds echoey too. Bet you didn't expect me to be starting another video from this house. Now I've heard how echoey it is, I don't know if it was a good idea. Let me cut to somewhere else. So we try again in a McDonald's car park. It is still breakfast time. The only breakfast food McDonald's do that is vegan, other than like a plain bread roll, is hash browns. So I'm gonna eat my hash browns, and then let you know what's going on. Much better. I'll have my coffee now as well while we, while we have a little talk about what's going on in today's video. Um, this is going to be the video in which the kids see the new house for the first time. Um, one of the reasons I'm back over in Peterborough right now, one of the reasons, is because we've got to pick, or I've got to pick up Andy from his respite where he's been over the weekend while the house move has gone through. As you saw from the shot at the start of the video, old house, completely empty now. We are going to be going back and forth from there a little bit over the next few weeks, just cleaning it up a little bit, getting it ready for uh, handing back the keys, which it, we've still got it for over a month yet. So uh, we've got a little while to get that into a into a state where we're happy to hand the keys back. I think it's probably going to need a lick of paint here and there and that kind of thing, and certainly carpet cleaning, all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to go and fetch Andy this morning, um, and then tomorrow... But later on in this video, we're going to be covering a few days in this video. Tomorrow, the girls are going to be coming over and seeing the new house for the first time. So um, everyone's going to be seeing it for the first time in this video, apart from me, Anna, and Dave, who's already there and is waiting over there now. But um, the, the other reason I'm over here at this point is because I've had to get up super early this morning to drive Anna to work. It's her last week at the co-op. Uh, so... Although we've now moved an hour away from here, she still had two more shifts to do back a 20 minute walk from our old house. So she's, uh, we were up at 5 a.m. today, uh, left the house before six, dropped her off at work at seven, and then I headed back to the old house um, to do a few bits and pieces. And um, we've had a microwave delivered that was just left on the uh, little porchway out, out the front of the house. The microwave I showed you in the last video, we realized had a massive dent in the side of it. So that one's going back. We've got a replacement for that that hopefully isn't ruined now it's been left outside all night certainly where we live now it was pouring with rain all night but the box doesn't seem to be wet so hopefully that microwave has survived that trip but drop down and off few bits and pieces done at the old house um, and now I'm just having a little bit of breakfast because in about 20 minutes I need to start the drive up to Boston to where Andy's respite is, pick him up. We've got a few Andy things to do while we're there. I'm sure he's gonna to wanna to go and see the stump um, and that should get us back here again in time for Anna's shift to be over and then we can head over and show him the new house. And then amongst all that, I need to buy some dishwasher salt as well because I didn't realize you needed salt and detergent and the, the rinse aids to dishwashers. Dishwashers are a pain. We've had one for two days and not been able to use it yet. But hopefully I'll get the salt. What does the salt do? I'm gonna buy some salt so we can actually use the dishwasher. I only ordered the other two things in the Tesco order that came yesterday. Well, as if there wasn't already enough change going on this week, the usual car park that we park in after respite before we go to the stump is closed. So we've had a little bit of a random drive around the town center to find a parking spot. We found one. But we now need to be quick because we're picking Anna up in an hour and a half and we're an hour away. Where are we going? The stump. The stump. They're working. Oh, this perfect side. timing. To the cows. Well, that was good timing.
is time to go back to my room. Is that good? Yeah. Excellent. Right, We're here. I've left my sunglasses in the car. Is that picture? Yeah. That's where you'll eat the crisps yeah. and your food. Yeah. Yeah. You have a look. Pardon? No, it's not Andy's TV, it's just a TV. Right, they have. And then they've done this one here. This is Amy's room. It's not set up yet. And that's Amy's bathroom. Okay, keep it up. Dave, get down. You can't put Andy's room. Get down. Dave, don't you? He really wants to get involved. <laughs> we'll pop the, oh, there you go. Right, let's just move. This we still have a lot away. of boxes up here. I'm sorry. Because we're this still one here. very much unpacking our room. That's not me and Daddy's room. Step over. That's the Andy's bathroom. And then this is Andy's room. The so one room done. that he's actually set up. <laughs> Good boy. Yeah. Happy? Yeah. Is it good? You've got your TV and your Xbox? We'll set the PlayStation yeah, up soon. Yeah, we'll do the Wi-Fi in a minute. Yeah. And we can put you on the Wi-Fi. Is it good? Well, it's not working. Is that not the working bro? We've got two, haven't we? <laughs> but I found this the other day. Oh, it's not working. So we'll give him a little bit of time to set him in. The toilet is net with And get his full first impressions a little later on, as you can see. Most of these are empty boxes, actually, which we need to get to the uh, old house where we've got a skip coming on Friday. We've gradually been taking empty boxes yeah, over, but there are still, uh, our bedroom is still just boxes. We haven't really done our bedroom at all. Um, Amy's bedroom, <laughs> yeah? Can you say that? What, drop it then? It's no, it's full. Oh, it's a full glass, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Don't drop it then. I'm gonna drop that. Thought it was a bottle. Um, the kitchen's just about done though. This is what we spent most of yesterday doing took like four hours to do that. Um, we haven't found a place to put his crisps yet. Amy's room is still not touched. She's coming tomorrow. And then downstairs, I don't know where Dave went. Where did Dave go? Dave? Dave? Having three floors, we've lost the dog. Is Dave in our bedroom? Andy number two. Get out of there you! Bedroom number two Andy. That's Andy's bedroom, yeah. <coughs> bedroom number two. Yeah. Sat on my bed, you monster. Yeah. You know you're not allowed in bedrooms. Yeah. Had a bunch of deliveries again. You're not going out the front door. You can see my office is slowly getting there. But still has lots of boxes. And then more empty boxes here. Just pretty much empty. And then the living room. I've just knocked all them over. The living room is getting there. Andy's chair needs sorting though, but I need to head out to the car, grab a load of stuff that we've brought over again, and my glasses. And then we'll uh, go about the rest of our day, I guess. Well, as you can probably tell by how dark it is outside now, Today's gone off the rails a little bit. Um, we were home probably less than two hours. Uh, me and Anna were just upstairs in the kitchen unpacking some shopping and having a little bit of lunch. We left Andy down here watching Frozen on Disney Plus. Didn't think anything of it. Um, we didn't hear any issues. Um, Anna just came down to check that he was okay after 15 minutes maybe of us being upstairs and he was lying down on the floor just here, half naked. And the TV was like that. The remote control is nowhere to be seen. Now he can't fully tell us what's happened. All I can think has happened is he was watching his film. It started to buffer because we're on rubbish internet. I don't even know if I've told the internet story on the vlog, uh, but basically our internet, in fact, yeah, it happened on last week's video. The internet is gonna be two weeks until we get proper internet. So BT have sent us a little 4G mini hub which gives us a whole six gig download for the entire three-story house. And uh, we were watching Netflix last night and it started to buffer after a little while. So I can only assume um, his film was buffered and rather than calling us for help or turning the TV off like he normally would, he's gone over there and just punched the TV and cracked the screen. 
So, uh, I've spent the afternoon buying a new TV. What a what a first day in the house, um, and also Dave's got diarrhoea, so he's constantly he was up like three or four times in the night. I'm still trying to work out where the good light is, and he was out up three or four times in the night, needing to go outside for a poo. He's pooed in here now. He's on full diarrhoea, and he's really struggling with no internet. We've now got the BT 4G hub. We've bought a three 4G hub that's cost 80 quid. We've now put him on a Vodafone um, unlimited video and social media contract for a month that's cost us another 20. Um, even that, it's still not getting him exactly what he wants. We're not gonna get our internet in the house until next Friday, so nearly two weeks. And even then, until we upgrade to the next one, which we can't do until after we've got the first one, we don't know for sure it's gonna reach the top floor from down here. It could be six weeks before we have fully functioning internet in Andy's bedroom. He needs to get used to it fast. Past Kev here, just jumping into the video from the garage. I think this might be the last clip that ever gets recorded in here. It's certainly going to be the last clip you ever see from the garage. Wave bye-bye to the garage, everybody. The reason I've jumped in from the past, though, is to thank the sponsors of today's episode, Skillshare. Now, I'd like to think over the last couple of months, you've noticed that I have been making a conscious effort to increase the level of the editing and the filming and just the videography in general on this channel. And that is in large part thanks to the work I've been doing on Skillshare. Apparently there wasn't a bit over there where I learned it's videography and not videography. Like, you can't expect everything from them. In particular, classes like this one, video editing, transforming footage into evocative travel stories. And this one has really helped me out with editing and specifically editing to music. It's got sections on finding the right music, organizing the footage to work with the music, how to shoot footage to better fit the music and editing it all together into something that makes a little bit more coherent sense than some of the old bits of B-roll that I used to do back in the pre-Skillshare days. If you follow me over on Twitch, you'll know just how often I get the reminders on my watch to check in and do my Skillshare stuff for the day. And I find that the little and often approach has really helped me out. It's become a habit now to check in regularly, do maybe a 20 minute burst of learning something new that I'm trying to learn at that time. And it really has helped improve the quality of these videos. And it's not just video editing stuff that's over on Skillshare. They've got classes on all sorts of things, including a few on interior design, which might help us make the new house look a little bit better than this than this garage office ended up looking. So I'll definitely be checking those out over the coming weeks and months. Skillshare's ad-free. They're always adding new classes. And with an annual subscription, you can get access to all of this lovely content for less than $10 a month. Plus, if you're one of the first thousand people to sign up for Skillshare using the link in the description below, you get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. Sponsorships like this one from Skillshare are a huge difference maker for us as a family and for this as a channel. So I would really appreciate it if you supported the channel by heading down into the description, clicking the link and checking them out. Like I say, first thousand people to do that, get a free trial. So really, you've got absolutely nothing to lose and you'll probably learn something really useful while you're there. Right, ad spot complete. We now need to re-engage time travel mode, leap back to the future, to the new house where presumably I'm not wearing a shirt as good as this one. Well, slight change of plan this morning for two reasons. Reason number one, Andy needed some normality. You saw what happened yesterday. We needed him to give him a taste of something normal. So we needed to come to Nottingham at some point anyway. Reason number two for it happening to be today is tomorrow night, they go into a tier three lockdown. And this might be the last chance for us to come and ride on the trams for months. So, that's what we're doing, taking a morning out of unpacking to come and ride the trams for a bit, one last time probably for this year, and then get back on with the unpacking grind this afternoon. Of course, because we've come in from a different direction, south rather than east, we're at a different tram stop. Normally we're at the forest, now we're at Toten Lane, it's the end of the line, which means we can get a seat easily. It also means though, to get through to where he likes to go for the level crossing, we're gonna be on here. 44 minutes and I get really travel sick on these trams and can't usually cope with 15 so travel sick in a mask this is gonna be fun well that was a very very unpleasant 45 minutes and now I feel very very sick but he's getting to do what he needs to do 
Oh, no longer feeling sick. I am now hungry. It's lunch time. My break wings. Uh, she never brings me a snack. Lunch time we went to choose barbecue. We're not going to choose barbecue. No, today. we're going to go and get ourselves some vegan sausage rolls from Greg's. And the house. So Andy, do you like the new house? Yeah. Is it nice? Yeah. Good. Once uh, internet aside, it is awesome. He's liking having his stuff in his room. For Andy's eyes on Monday. For Andy's eyes, I'll put it out on Sunday, don't worry. Once we've got the internet sorted, I think we're going to be very, very happy and settled in there. He's not going to be fully settled in until then. He's having his crisps. As you can see, Anna is handing him crisps one by one because he'll only eat them off a plate. Well, actually, it's not even that. He won't eat them out of the bag. Take them out. You can just leave it there. I want my snack. I couldn't show you because it was absolutely pouring with rain while I was doing it, but finally managed to get a hold of one of the Greg's vegan slices. We like the vegan sausage rolls already, we were eating them long before I went vegan. But the vegan slice, like a vegan steak bake thing, big thumbs up to that too. Well I suspect it was full of meat, because I don't believe that one's vegan. Let me know in the comments how they make them. We have another new day. Um, I'm still getting used to the fact that our shower is not very powerful at all, so believe it or not, there's no product in my hair. This is yesterday's product that I couldn't wash out on the pathetically weak shower head that we've got, so that's on the to-do list. Short the shower. Short, Short the, shower? the shower? Sort the shower. But we have extra people here. Say hello, extra people. Hello, extra hello. people. What do you think of the new house? It's very nice. Oh, wait, that's not a good, good. angle for me, Dad. What angle would you like? Really high up. Oh my god! <laughs> so, what do you think of the new house, Lucy? <laughs> Can you put me in? <laughs> they, uh, they had to sleep in here last night on an inflatable mattress and it was massive and ridiculous. Yeah. We should have taken a picture of it, but we didn't because I just forgot to turn the camera on because it's been really busy. As you can see, we are still not fully unpacked. We've got a few boxes left here. We're slowly getting there in the hallway. My... Uh, my office is also slowly getting there. Still a little bit of rubbish in here. We're basically taking the rubbish back to the old house with us because we've got a skip coming there in two days' time. Amy's upstairs now sorting her room. Our room is worse than this. Do you know why but that is, this downstairs toilet's done. Almost. Why is our room bad? I can't be bothered <laughs> to do it. It's but it so needs doing. It really but it's, there's no storage for anything. Got that, that just means you've got too many things. We have an entire wardrobe. Which you've took half of. Yeah, that's how couples work when they share a bedroom. You get half the wardrobe where each. Do I put, where do I put my woolies? Your what? My woolies. I don't know, in a cupboard. Yeah. You don't need half a wardrobe. Yeah, but you don't have loads of dressing up costumes that you wear for your videos. This is true. Half of my half is suits and fancy shirts. You can get a, a pole from a Mexican door and put it in. The laundry room is hanging up in there. Ah. Off the mirror. And we have a new TV as well. After the incident the other day, that is our new TV. Won't yeah, he's not actually been in here since, has he? We're not sure whether it's because this is the scene of the crime or just because we've still got loads of junk in here and his room is completely calm and settled and there's no boxes in there. So I think he's just enjoying being away from the chaos, which is why we're focusing on this bit today in the hope that once this is done he'll come back in the room see we've now got a working tv but he's not set foot in here since it happened hmm. yeah lucy hurt my knee i was bending over and my knee popped so nurse lucy is trying to stop me from doing jobs today i just got lectured for walking up the stairs wrong what i've got that do you want to it on what is it oh cannabis rub yeah yeah Cannabis rub! Very exciting stuff folks, I didn't think we'd get to do this again after we moved, but for one last time, it's Amy's adventures in dentistry. <laughs> what are we getting done today? I'm not going to lie, I'm not really sure. Yeah, this is the first time she's been in since the last time we did this in a video, so first time in a year? 
not maybe not quite a year. February. Like March. Yeah, February. February, March time. So I guess we're going to go and see what the plan is vis a vis braces. So that was an unexpected dentist piece of excitement, wasn't it? They didn't let me in because of COVID. Um, they told me Amy would be about 10 or 15 minutes. I yeah. sat down in the car, ready to watch a 13 minute video, thinking I'll get through that. Mm. Don't even, didn't even make it two minutes in before she's knocking on the window. I thought they'd cancelled your appointment. But oh no, what no. have they done? Um, they put separators in, which are basically like these little blue rubber things that they put in between your teeth. So I have them in between my back teeth at the top to separate my teeth ready for expanders and it hurts. <laughs> so next week you're going back for the yeah, expanders? Next, well, I'm not really sure. She said next week they're doing impressions and like checking that okay. the metal rings will fit. We're slowly but surely getting closer to brace time. Yeah, but you, not it's really. It's been years. I mean, it's been three it's years so far. Yeah. yeah. And it's probably going to be a good two or three more years. Yeah. Um, we are now at uh, B&M because we need stuff, don't we? Yeah. So we're calling at B&M on the way back um, to grab a few bits for your room and Anna's given us a yeah. list of things to buy as well. So we're going to grab a few bits at B&M and then head home. Well, it is now Friday and we're back in Peterborough and this is Andy in a good mood. We've just been around the shopping centre looking at all the digital displays. We're just heading to the cathedral now. That's why we left Peterborough. Um, but we uh, we missed a day yesterday. There'll be a video coming out in a few days explaining just what's gone on over the last couple of days. It's not been the best couple of days. If you follow me on Twitter, you already know what's gone on, but ex expect a video in two or three days time where I just explain everything that's gone on. But we are out the other side of it now. We have internet at home, so Andy is finally happy. And we're actually back in Peterborough because we need to head back to the old house this afternoon. We should have had a skip turn up this morning and we've just got to clear, clear out some of the stuff that isn't coming with us. So we're going to head back over there. It's probably going to be a two day job. So I think we're going to be back over and forth a little bit over the next couple of days. But Andy wanted to come and see the cathedral. So we thought while we were over here, let's come and see the cathedral. As usual, I have a built-in excuse to not go in there because they uh, they charge you for entry if you're going to be in there filming. So I can't bring this big camera in. They usually let Andy off, but I don't need to film it for the thousandth time. So I'll just wait out here for them to be done. And then we should be back over at the old house for some cleaning up. Was that good? Well, we. Is that good, Andy? <laughs> what, what are we doing now? Bell. No, we're not going back in. Bells are finished. We're going to go and we've got to go and do some cleaning. And then it was Sunday. We did go back to the old house and do some cleaning. Um, I'll show you a little bit of that in next week's video. But um, Andy didn't last very long at it, and it's just. One of, uh, one of a number of things this week that hasn't gone great for him. I can't really talk about them now because with the setup in the new house, they can hear me in the living room, two rooms along. So there's going to be a video come out in a couple of days explaining everything that has gone wrong this week. But we didn't want to have all that in this video. We wanted this video as much as possible to be a positive video because it was us moving into our new house. And it is awesome, as you can see by my awesome new office which is now fully set up around me so we'll be back in a couple of days with the uh with the flip side of how this week has gone um, and then back again next sunday with uh with what will be our first week really settled into the house and getting anna used to her new job and andy back to his school routine and all kind of hopefully a week uh, the first week of normality in about a month which would 
be nice. So make sure you are subscribed with your notifications on so that those videos appear in your sub boxes as and when they come out. If you do get the opportunity, I really would appreciate you clicking the Skillshare link as well. Um, it really does help to support the channel. Certainly when you see the video that's coming out in a couple of days and you realize just how much money we've had to spend on fixing disasters over the last couple of weeks, um, you'll realize just how important it is that we have these sponsorships on the video. So I really would appreciate you clicking on that signing up for the free trial if you're one of the first thousand people it doesn't cost you anything to do and it is genuinely good service so jump on there check that out as well and i will see you all very soon